Hello friends, in this video we will solve the question paper of discourse analysis. The first question is, discuss Colthard's 1977 theory of discourse analysis in detail. The answer I wrote in my exam was, Colthard's 1977 theory of discourse analysis is also known as Interactional Social Linguist Theory. It is a framework that seeks to provide an understanding of how language is used in a specific context. The theory is primarily focuses on functions of language use in everyday communication. So basically this theory focuses on two things. Number one, context number two language function <laughs> Colther's theory of discourse analysis emphasizes the importance of context in understanding how language is used in communication According to Coulter, context includes not only the immediate situation in which conversation takes place, but also the wider social and cultural context in which it occurs. According to him, cultural and social context also matters. In my answer, I wrote in the last para that we can relate Colther's 1977 theory of discourse analysis to Noam Chomsky's theory of competence and performance. Noam Chomsky named the language function as performance. Now, Second question. Explain Fairclough's 1995 critical discourse analysis theory with some relevant examples. The answer I wrote in the exam is Fairclough introduced the concept that are viewed as vital in critical discourse analysis such as Textual analysis, discourse practice analysis, and social practice analysis. Number one, textual analysis. It refers to the language that is produced and analyzed in critical discourse analysis. Text can be spoken or written, and it includes a wide range of genres, including news articles, political speeches, advertisements, and conversations. Textual analysis includes grammar. Second, discourse practice analysis. It includes presupposition. In discourse practice analysis, things are assumed at the beginning of text. Number three, social practice analysis. Social practice refers to the broader social and cultural context in which language use occurs. It includes the social structures and power relations that exist in society and how they shape language use. Then I tried to uh, connect this theory with Noam Chomsky as a generative grammar theory. The element of textual analysis can relate to Noam Chomsky's theory of generative grammar. Then I gave an example. For example, a politician may use language that creates a sense of us vs them 
and promotes division between two different political parties or group. Uh, the di discourse practice may involve manipulation to public opinion. So, I tried to uh, say that um, political parties uh, try to manipulate uh, human uh, or public uh, opinion and they want to uh, make them in their favor. So, wish in the last, wish me uh, best of luck for my results. Thank you.